Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. We're seeing just how extensive the story mode is now. Because we had a whole Turles arc, Tree of Might. I, I don't know how they squeezed in three fights, but they did. And now, right after that, we got the nasty, slimy Lord Slug. Uh, let's, let's go. Not, nothing else to say, let's, let's just do it. On conquering the universe, Lord Slug has come to Earth. Having regained his youth through the power of the Dragon Balls, he has unleashed his forces upon the planet. The Sea Fighters sprang into action to combat this new threat. However, one by one, these brave heroes have succumbed to Lord Slug's overwhelming power. But just as all hope seemed lost, Goku's rage has awakened the Super Saiyan within. Hey, hey, why you got spoilers? Why you got spoilers in the in the summary? And it's not even Super Saiyan. It's it's false Super Saiyan. You know, because they didn't. They wanted to make him Super Saiyan, but they didn't have the design yet. So they just. They, they just did that. Anyway, why why I got Krillin with me? Oh. I can also have TN with me. It's TN time! Props to the game for actually giving the Sea Fighters more fights. We, uh, we like that. The invasion has begun! Lord Slug, an evil Namek bent on conquering the universe, has brought his minions to Earth. Over the centuries, the ancient Lord Slug has relied on medical technology to extend his unnaturally long life. However, having learned of the Earth's Dragon Balls, he now intends to call upon the dragon to restore his youth. Yeah, I have been reborn! Feel the power of youth eternal! Sensing a great danger, Goku raced to the scene to face it head on. Slug! I'll give you one chance to leave this planet in peace! <laughs> this will be a good opportunity to test my newly restored powers! Is this the end of the Earth? Or can Goku turn the tide of the Slug invasion? I, uh, I feel like, I feel like yes. And I'm gonna get Goku... You know what, yeah, let me get Tien. Let me level him up a little bit. This really should just be like two fights. I don't know how they're going to extend this anymore. You bastard. Don't you dare. Yeah, you're a bozo. You're a whole lot of nothing. Wonder if there's a Dragon Ball here. Because I'm pretty sure the Dragon Radar would work if there was one here, but it's looking like there's not. So let me just kill this guy. You're not even hitting me, like, at all. Man, you, uh... Y you really aren't any type of good, huh? But I know this is not your final form. You got quite quite something else to show. Oh, 
Oh. How did I not? You're a fool. You're the biggest fool I know. You saw me charging it, and you still just ran straight up into me. Namekian. Whoa. I got one? That's a little... I don't think I can own a Namekian. Even with all of his training, Goku is still no match for the tireless Lord Slug. Has all hope been lost? What are you saying? I demolished him. Yeah, we're going straight to another fight. Goku wages a desperate battle against Slug, but the evil Namek shows no signs of slowing. <laughs> Is that all you've got? And here I was hoping a Saiyan would make for a good challenge. He's strong. Yeah, just, just another fight now, but this time we have Piccolo. So it should go even faster. You know, it does make sense that Piccolo is about to be like... How the hell was that a grab? Piccolo will be the strongest character in the game because not only is he the first character we use, so he has all the time to get XP, he also uh, can use all of his moves without having to do a, a blast stock move. So that makes him slightly better than Goku. Yeah, yeah, come up here. Come up here. Nowhere to run. Eh, eh. Oh my, oh my god, damn, damn! Mutation and giant form. We can now just fully get slug. Okay, and this should be the last fight of the saga. For the sake of his friends and for the earth, Goku refuses to give up. Time to show you my true power! What? You don't mean... Surprised by Goku's increase in power, the evil Lord Slug has decided to hold nothing back. At last, he has revealed the full extent of his super Namek abilities. Which, which just means, uh, turning giant. That's, that's all it means. And we know Namek's can do that. Before Goku's very eyes, Lord Slug has transformed himself, increasing his size and power tenfold. How's that? <laughs> A Super Namek? What's wrong? Are you afraid of my true form? <clears throat> Not yet. He's just a big old guy. And we're we got four people. You're you're still not winning, bud. It doesn't matter if you're big. We got four people. Come on then. Ooh, a banger though. Ah, I almost dodged it. I almost did. Nope. Fury bullet. Man, you, uh... Yeah, 
you blink one, you can't blink all of them. And that's unblockable. And that is unblockable. Ooh. God, no. You're not even any harder. You're just more annoying. You know, when people say they missed playing, they, they missed giants being playable in the games, I think they just wanted to not fight against them and they just wanted to beat them. Because this is annoying. Goku Fine. Goku wins in the movie, so I'll switch to Goku. My turn. Oh, God damn it. Even though I only have one move now, because I can't use my rush. You bastard. You were coming straight for me. Big ass boot. There we go. And Slug is dead. Let's go. And that gets Bardock and Bardock, father of Goku. Oh baby, let's go. An actual interesting one. Yes. Helpless against the power of Slug, Goku's end seems certain. Until Piccolo calls out a bizarre request. Go on, you have to whistle. Apparently, human whistling is on a frequency that causes intense pain to Namekian ears. Oh yeah. I, I forgot that was a thing. I'm pretty sure everyone else did too. Wasn't it only in this movie? As Gohan's whistling paralyzed Slug, Piccolo entrusted Goku with all of his energy. G Goku, take my power! Right! And with additional energy borrowed from the sun, Goku unleashed a spirit bomb powerful enough to crush Slug. Thus, Earth was once again saved from near disaster, and peace returned. Would have been cool if they had False Super Saiyan as like a an outfit for regular Super Saiyan, right? That would have been cool. That would have been cool. All right, let me quickly let me quickly get Slug. You take uh, Namekian mutation. And there he is. And then you take giant form and uh, and slug. And there he is. Super slug. Hmm. I never. I never heard of it referred to like that. I thought it was just giant slug. Hmm. Alright, but now we get into the good stuff. 
Even though that said Bardock, Father of Goku, they call it Final Battle on the select screen. Okay, which story? Here we go. Frieza's Betrayal. The Saiyans faithfully serve the tyrant Frieza in his bid for universal domination. But little did they know, all the while, Frieza was planning to betray them. Now, having witnessed the murder of his comrades and the destruction of his home planet Vegeta, in order to honor his fallen friends, in order to turn the tide of fate, Bardock has gone to confront Frieza alone. Let's go. Oh, and our first look at Namek. Even though Bar Bardock never went to Namek. But, you know, they needed some kind of space thing. Also in the middle, there's Baba's again. Even though it doesn't really make any sense. But hey, they needed the shop on the map. Bulma's spaceship. Ah yes, Bulma's spaceship. In, in this moment in time. Yes. Hello, Kui. So here you got your, uh... What, what is the word I'm thinking of? You got the same thing as your Cybermans back on Earth. But here you got Kui. A lot of Kui. I don't know what to give Bardock. Hmm. Because I'm not going to use him that much. But I still want him to be, like, kind of strong. Alright, you know what? This should be fine. This should be fine. Health and key. Let me fight three Queez. Oh, yeah. Bardock's combos are a little different. He doesn't sweep the leg. He turns... Oh, wait, no, there it is. I don't know how I was doing that then. Right, in this game, Final Revenger! About to give you the triple back shots. Ready? Ooh, ooh, ooh. The move is so rough. It's so cool. You deal with this. Really? You big weenie. I'm still coming for you. It makes no difference to me which of you goes down in what order, because you're all dying. I text that. You ran back into it, you buffoon. You're a damn Kui, you shouldn't have smart AI. It makes me upset that the AI can, like, recover so fast when I launch them. Nope. 
Really? Okay, that's one down. These these queens are are too smart for their own good. Oh yeah. I'm I'm blocking that. You took ages to to send that out. Okay, that's on me. I should have blocked that. Damn! Stop! Go away! Okay, one more. But it's the one I already was beaten on. Goodbye. I said... Goodbye. Why were three Queez so beefy? Well, I did the fight, I don't gotta do the fight again. So now we can actually do the story. Throughout the universe, the Saiyans were known as the ultimate warrior race. And from this proud race, one warrior rose up to challenge the might of Frieza. Bardock. Tora and the others really went on a rampage this time, huh? For many years, the Saiyans had faithfully carried out the tyrant Frieza's orders. Until one day, on a routine mission for Frieza, Bardock arrived to find his Saiyan comrades slaughtered. What is this? Tora, what happened? Tora, a fellow Saiyan warrior, told Bardock of Frieza's betrayal. Those dogs! And now, it's your turn. That's not how Frieza Soldier talks. I know my goat, and he does not speak. Really? I just fought three Queez. Game. God. Damn it. Ready? Damn. Why are Queez so smart? I should not. I should not have gotten that low. Ugh. There was no doubt the soldiers who attacked Bardock were Frieza's henchmen. Why? After witnessing the murder of his comrades and suffering attack from Frieza's men, Bardock's worst suspicions were confirmed. Oh no. That's not good. What is here? What is at the Eastern Village? Dende? Actually, no. This can't be Dende. This is just random Namekian child. Hey. Eh? Cybermen? Why are they in the hundreds? Oh lord. At least, all of them only had two health bars, so it didn't take that long. 
A key plus four. Hmm. Okay, and now the next one. Please don't be more queez. Still reeling at his gruesome discovery, Bardock is surprised by Frieza's henchman, Dodoria. <laughs> Dodoria? Why? Why are you doing this? Because he's nasty. It will be very nice to just fight one person now, because these three people fights are very toiling on me. Ready? Come here. You nasty thing. God damn it. I hate grabs. I hate them. There we go. No. You are very slow. Is that your best? Very like Final Revenger, because it's a good animation and it does like a bar of damage. Nope. And Dodoria should be nice and dead very soon. And there we go. So much simpler than the past ones. Ho! Oh. Alright. There should only be like one more fight? Taking advantage of Bardock's confusion, Dodoria attacked. What a disappointment. I was hoping to have a little more fun. The battle concluded. Dodoria quickly departed on another of Frieza's errands. No. Cursed by a Kanasan warrior with the power of foresight, Bardock is tormented by visions. Visions of his son Kakarot confronting Frieza and of his own death at the hands of the Tyrant. Does Bardock know that these visions will one day become reality? I... I will change my future. Yes, man. Go, man. Alright. Nothing new? Let's just go. Let's end this. My fate, and yours too. With the fate of the planet Vegeta, and that of his son, Kakarot, hanging in the balance. Bardock shouldered the weight of destiny, and went to face Frieza alone. Dodoria and Zarbon? Whoa. Mmm. But I am kind of disappointed in this. You wanna know why? Because since this is the PAL Wii version, there are more characters and another stage. And of those, I'm pretty sure free like space with Frieza spaceship is now a stage, and a pool and generic Frieza soldier, my king, are also characters. So that could have been the fight. I don't know why I'm fighting Dorian Zarbon on Namek. Maybe they just couldn't change the story mode, which makes me sad.
I blocked that. Why, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? That was a little bit scary. I'm gonna get your back meat. You weenie. What is with the AI switching out now? You think that's gonna help you? You think that's gonna let you live? Because it's not. What the hell? I don't like that the AI is getting smarter. I don't like it. The game's already hard. Don't get harder. Almost there. That um, that animation with Bar with uh, Zarbon's groans makes me feel uncomfortable. You're back. You're not escaping death. God damn it! Hold on there. Hold on now. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. Ooh. Okay. I don't want to lose this. God damn it. You thought... <laughs> You thought I didn't put a save state? Oh, you you must not know me that well then, because now I have one. <laughs> there we are. And that's Bardock. Now we get Powerball and the Frieza. Saga. Oh, man. Man. With a 
single blow, Frieza brought Bardock's desperate struggle to a bitter end. In an instant, the Saiyan race, the planet Vegeta, and Bardock were wiped from existence. But as he slipped from consciousness, Bardock saw a faint glimmer of hope. Hear me, my son. You must be the one to avenge the Saiyans and the planet Vegeta. Bardock's battle against tyranny is over. However, his untimely end marked the beginning of the legend that is Goku. That's a hard-ass screenshot. That's probably the thumbnail. That pick goes hard. Right, there we go. We've now finally got to the Frieza saga after three miscellaneous things. Finally there. And of course, before I end it, we got a power ball. You know what that means. Let me go here. And then the ba, and then he ha ha ha, and then give me. Nope, nope, nope. Power ball. And Bardock. Uh, great day, Bardock. Still need an extra power ball. I don't know where I'm gonna get that, but I'm I'm sure we'll we'll get it at some point. There there are still more sands in this game. All sorts of adventures flying around Earth in space. All right. There we go with that i will end it there i've been player one and i'll see you next time when we get started on the <laughs> Frieza saga bye bye